Hey y'all, I just wanted to give some of you guys a quick message. Um, particularly like mothers and fathers and stuff. So, <clears throat> you know, I didn't expect to come here. <laughs> I know you guys heard me say that plenty of times already. Um, but it's just me and the kids, right? So it's like, we went to Pig Beach and you know we did other activities too but throughout this trip like this is my kids this is my yes i went through my part of the trip where i had to do what i had to do but this is basically mainly for the kids you know so you know everybody knows like being a mom um or a dad it's difficult sometimes like when you especially when you travel with kids so traveling with my kids during covid i know we're safe the lord said we're safe but um you know it was just like a lot because i had to make sure like they had their masks on all the time they were sanitizing all the time and it's hard to get kids to keep on their mask and then they forget and then they you know so you have to keep reminding them top of that because i'm the kind of person like i like to make sure that i'm safe and sorry so i have like backpack with like a whole bunch of stuff that we need like sanitizing wipes water um stacks here and there you know like extra mask extra sanitizer sunscreen and then i had another backpack with film equipment because i'm vlogging um you know then i had another bag with like my beach stuff like towels and so i'm carrying all the bags because i don't want the kids to carry the bag so i'm carrying like the backpack i'm carrying the beach bag and the film equipment bag and oh my god there's a dragonfly do you guys see it if y'all can see this dragonfly oh it's running away from me okay fine then fine so butterfly and dragonfly both of those two insects means like transforming wow so um yeah so when i was on the pig beach trip you know i was making sure the kids were like okay like 24 7 and after the trip out there's times where i was in my head like am i doing a good job like are they good are they enjoying themselves like you know and i'm trying to be patient and everything you know and there's been times i've been so hard on myself about it even at home when i'm working sometimes i can't be as hands-on as i want to because i have to work i gotta clean i gotta do all the like i do everything like i i pay the bills i i have to take care of the kids on top of that and i gotta make sure everything's okay like you know so it's like doing everything <laughs> like a, being a mom alone is like a full-time job period so imagine being a mom and having to also work having to also make sure to get like the kids are okay like doing everything by yourself right so well of course god is with me so you know but i am always hard on myself and after um the pig beach trip like as we're packing we were the last ones to get on the boat because i wanted to make sure the kids use the bathroom and everything right so they're waiting for us i'm checking the lockers i'm making sure we didn't forget nothing like all this stuff like are you okay are you good da -da -da -da. so as we're walking out this lady stopped me she was with her husband and she was just like honestly i don't know how you do it i just want to tell you that you're such a good mom you're such an amazing mom and she said it over and over and over again i'm like oh my god are you sure oh my god like she was just like yeah you're you're like and that really meant a lot to me because i don't hear that a lot you know i don't hear that from people you know because we're not really around people you know i'm literally just with the kids and myself all the time right so I know God tells me I'm doing a very good job. There's been times where like, you know, I'll beat myself up and he'll come in and be like, you're good, relax, you know? Um, but to hear that from a complete stranger, like someone who I have don't even know, who's just, little, obviously she's been watching me the whole time. Like that, like obviously it means more when God tells me, you know, but I feel like God used her to kind of like give me that extra confirmation because I sometimes we need to hear that sometimes even even if you're a father like sometimes we just need to hear that we're doing a good job like we don't care if like we're we're millionaires or we have a lot of money like we just want to know that we're doing a good job with the kids and the kids are healthy and they're safe and they're full and they have the basic necessities and that's all that matters right so with that being said i took that i i got that message and i'm like yeah i need to share this i need to share this with elder mothers and fathers because I know what it's like to beat yourself up and i just want to let you guys know like don't think because you can't go on vacation or because you can't give your kids everything that they want or because you you know don't think because you work a lot or a bird just flew right over my head <laughs> 
don't think because of this stuff that you're a horrible mother or a horrible father or because you're struggling you may not have enough food or you know you may not have enough money or you may have just used your savings or don't that does not make you a horrible mother or a horrible father it's it's literally about the time that you spend with your kids and really just making sure that they're safe and the fact you could even you know make sure they're safe and try to get them basic necessities like don't beat yourself up period don't beat yourself up because the more you beat yourself up you know what i mean you start to, the devil will make you start to believe that you're actually a horrible parent because you're not able to give them certain things or or feed them certain things or you know what i mean and i'm my kids are yes they're blessed but you know i've been in positions before where i couldn't even I've feed been them. in situations before where i couldn't even feed my kids like I've been in situations before where I was homeless with my kids. You know, I've been in situations where we were in the shelters. Like, and I didn't, I don't tell people this stuff, but we've had a very hard time, right? And, you know, and those times, even when I was in those hardest times, I still would try to make sure they're safe and they're okay. That's why I said I know what a lot of the parents are going through. You know what I mean? Whether you have it or you don't. Like, I know what you're going through because I've been in a position where I didn't have it. And then I've been in a position where I did have it. Then I've been in a position where I lost it all. And then I've been in a position where I had to, you know, work hard and get it back again. Like, I know what it's like. Right? And let me tell you something. If you have warmness in your heart for your children there is no hate towards your children because i know it sounds bad but listen some a dragonfly again some parents actually dislike their children like some parents treat their kids horrible like really bad like abuse everything and they will have it and say i don't want to buy my kid anything even if i have it i'm not buying my kid nothing because i don't want to you know there's parents out there that do that but listen if you have it doesn't matter what you have. If you have a big heart and you love your children and you want the best for them, even if you don't have the best to give them yet, because you will have it one day. You just you can't let the devil put you know allow the, the thoughts of you not being a good mother or father because you don't have it. You can't allow that to dictate what kind of mother or father you are if you have that love in your heart and you just love them unconditionally that automatically will override everything else you got to remember that doesn't matter if you had to stay in a shelter if you have the same type of love for your children you know even when you have it then the same type of love when you don't have it that's all that matters god wants you to love your children and love your children wholeheartedly because there's people out there that don't love their kids. And God says, if your mother and father forsake you, I will be your mother and father. There's a reason why God says that, right? So just keep the love in your heart for your children and just know that you don't have to have it to be a good mother or father, okay? You don't have to have help, physical help. Because I don't got physical help. Look at me, I'm on vacation, vacation by myself with my kids, carrying three bags. <laughs> I have to carry film equipment too on my back and it's heavy okay like I have my tripod got my camera got my drone all that stuff um the underwater camera like all that stuff so I can I can break you know build memories with the kids right um but just remember that even if you have you're doing just it by remember yourself. that if you're doing it by yourself that God appreciates you you know what I mean and it doesn't mean that because it happens sometimes like you'll be in a like family oriented area where there's like moms and dads and kids and then you're by yourself with your kids and then you're kind of like carrying all these bags and stuff and i always i'm not gonna lie there's times where i was like embarrassed because i had to do that everything by myself and i'm like oh my gosh I'm so embarrassed like i do all for myself da, 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 da. so when that lady came to me and told me like you're such a good mom and her husband was like yeah like he was agreeing that meant a lot to me i feel like god did that because i was beating myself up you know what i mean <laughs> and i did have like i did have like a beer and stuff so i was i had a beer because i had to like wind down a bit i'm like i need to i need to just relax because it's a lot so i just want to let y'all know that like you don't have to have much to you know be a, a good mom or a good dad you know what i mean as long as you love your kids and show them you love them like kiss them tell them you love them and teach them how to pray 
most importantly like i teach my kids how to pray um like i tell them like hey you don't have to always just talk to god when it's nighttime and morning time like talk to god throughout the day like you know i tell them talk to god all the time so my kids will be like you know god mom told uh, god mom god told me this <laughs> you know and teach them how to pray at night in the morning like let them know that um thank god for them waking up in the morning and seeing another day like little things like that you know and it's okay if you're a busy parent you know sometimes sometimes you have to it's you have to you're put in a position sometimes where it's like okay it's either work or i spend time to, with my kids to do this and if you just spend time with your kids to do something it's like okay you lose out on work do you get where i'm coming from so you have to sacrifice sometimes but as long as you make sure that you find a time and day to do something with your kids, you know what I mean? Like to make it up to them. So you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to have a lot of money or go on vacation. Or if you do go on vacation, that's a good thing too. But just simple as like going to the park, you know, sat on a Sunday afternoon, watch a movie together. You know what I mean? Watch a movie together, get popcorn, and you guys talk about the movie. What did you like about the movie? What's your favorite part? Like things like that, right? the little things i'm telling you kids don't need much to be happy <laughs> you know they remember the love that's what it is they remember the love that you give them so i just want you parents to know out there like stop being hard on yourself and beating yourself up over things that you really can't control it's the love that matters it's the love that matters you know and i'm pretty sure majority of you guys are good mothers and fathers do not beat yourself up okay I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.